Hey guys, welcome back to Sky Talks Trading. And today we're going to be talking about the pros and cons of penny stocks. Penny stocks are quite controversial. Uh, most people hate them. They're kind of looked down upon, I guess, in the trading community, in the, vet, in the investing world. There's a lot of different sides to penny stock investings. And, uh, you know, quite extreme opposites. The spectrum ranges from instant wealth, massive profits, uh, 20 year old millionaires. Uh, and then on the other side, you got lost investments, scams, illegal activities, and bankrupt companies. And, you know, I mean, the reality is somewhere in between these extremes. Are penny stocks super duper risky, terrible investments? full of obliterated investments and scam artists, all driving, you know, Lambos? Yeah, sure. Are penny stocks small companies just getting started or have been overlooked or undervalued by investors and can multiply a small investment in a very short time frame? Yes, also true. Let's not forget that many of America's and the world's greatest companies started small and, you know, typically their investors became very rich. So yeah, there's risks and there's rewards, just like with everything. So we're going to dive into it. We're going to talk about penny stocks. First of all, what even are penny stocks? Penny stocks are equities that trade below $5 a share. So, you know, don't be fooled by the pe the, the, the word penny. They're not actually, uh, they don't actually cost a penny. They are issued by companies that are too small to meet the listing requirements of the NYCE or the NASDAQ exchanges. So they trade through the over the counter bulletin board or pink sheet electronic quotation systems. Um, and as a result, penny stocks don't get exposure in the investing mainstream and they stay hidden from most investors. Most penny stocks are traded through online brokers. All right, so let's start with the pros. Simplicity. Because these companies are so small, uh, they usually only have, you know, one or two products. They're just getting started out. So if they so if something happens an event a catalyst a catalyst is something that moves either moves the price up or down so it can be a deal for instance you know if they sign a deal it's a big deal and it's gonna have an impact on the price whereas with a company like amazon or apple you know if they sign a deal in the grand scheme of things it's it's not that big of an event it, it's it's hard to work out all right what does this even mean does will this affect the price you know so in that way it's it's simple. And of course, affordable. Penny stock shares are cheap. So that means as an investor, you can buy a large holding for very little money. For instance, if a company's stock trades at 50 cents a share, you can buy 1,000 shares for just $500. And if the price climbs to $2 a share, which often happens in the penny stock world, the investor reaps a 1,500 profit on his 1,000 shares. So this is a very attractive pro for anyone, any beginners who want to start out and they don't have a lot of capital or do they just want to like test the waters. You don't need a lot of money, you know, for a big investment. With just a small amount of money, you can start trading penny stocks. Low competition. Because penny stocks are, like I said, kind of looked down upon or, you know, they're not the creme de la creme in the investing world. It means you don't have to compete with all these with big hedge funds or big massive investors or, you know, bots or whatever. But, you know, there's a reason why big hedge funds and whatnot aren't interested in penny stocks because, you know, that's not where you're going to make your billions, more than likely. Another pro is speed. Now, I'm not saying all penny stocks move quickly in price, but the ones which do can typically make their price moves within days and not years, you know? With big stocks, more well-known stocks, you know, it can take weeks and, you know, years for any sort of major movement. And this goes in turn with excitement as well, which is another pro. For anyone who has made 5% on an investment in a year, they understand the excitement which comes from the big gains and losses among penny stocks. And then, of course, there's the super high profit potential. You know, even with the bad sides that we're going to discuss in just a moment. There's no doubt about it that it's an excellent way to invest and make profits. If this wasn't the case, given all the bad names associating with the penny stock market, there wouldn't be a single penny stock investor around. But since there's a possibility to make lots of money in a short time, penny stock traders will always trade them. But, you know, usually when there's very high reward potential, 
there's also very high risk. Penny stock trading is a humongous risk that, you know, you're taking. If you're trading penny stocks, you're taking the risk. Most of the money that you make in penny stocks is going to be shorting penny stocks because um, they're all trash and they're all going to fail. Not to generalize or anything. You know, in penny stock trading, you're putting your money in small companies that that haven't proven anything yet. Some of them don't even have a product. Although some of them will be successful, most of them usually reach the point of bankruptcy. Uh, however, you never know which one will or won't make it. So we're all just taking a chance and hoping for the big gain. Another uh, risk is scams. You really can't trust anybody in the penny stock market. Uh, they're going to promise you the world and, um, well, you know, I'm sure you've seen The Wolf of Wall Street. Another dodgy thing that happens is manipulation. Manipulation is a big part of penny stock trading. Uh, since they're not regulated in the same case as blue chip stocks, uh, when it comes to manipulations, you'll find those who are advertising a stock in hope of, in the hope of having lots of people invest their money. Most of them do own shares from the stock they're advertising, and once they've reached their goal, many people have invested. Uh, they sell all their shares. Uh, this is called the classic pump and dump. You know, I mean, there there is a reason that penny stocks have somewhat of a bad name, and it's because of the scams and the manipulation and yeah, just the fact that these companies aren't exactly um, amazing. But if you're not scared off by these cons, you know, and if you do your due diligence and you never uh, invest more than you're willing to lose, um, and you, and you have education, then you can make a lot of money with penny stocks. And we're going to be doing a lot of videos about uh, a lot of amazing, proven penny stock investing strategies. So that is a, definitely a reason to hit that subscribe button. Let me know if you are scared now. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching and happy investing.